And we are set to go once again, three rounds in the middle leg division. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner. He is a wrestler standing six feet, one inch tall. Weighing it officially 184 and one third pounds. His professional record, six victories with two defeats. Fighting out of Oslo, Norway by way of Sweden. Here is Jack the Joker Hermansson. And his opponent across the cage, fighting out of the red corner. A mixed martial artist standing five feet, nine inches tall. He weighed in 184 and one third pounds and brings a professional record of eight victories and four defeats. Fighting out of Bucharest, Romania, here is Eon Medo-Pascu! Referee in charge of the action is Mark Goddard. Veteran referee Mark Goddard about to get this one underway. These two big middleweights stare each other down across the cage. <laughs> something tells me something crazy is about to happen, Josh. Yeah, Pascu is just ready, motionless ready, 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 as he ready. tries to look straight through the back of Hermanson. Pascu in the black and white, Hermanson in the black and red. Huge body kick from Ion Pascu to open things up. There is a reach advantage for Hermanson, but I don't think he's going to want to stand inside the pocket too long. He's not going to want to come Pascu. in with his head down like that against Ion Pascu. Pascu with a high head kick. Odds oh, very slim, similar for both of these men. Pascu, a very, very slight favourite, minus 115. To Hermanson's minus 125. Such a stocky, well built frame. Both these guys impressively put together. I think Hermanson. Oh, that's a huge right hand! Big left hand from Pascu. Hermanson's going to have to recover here. Pascu dropping heavy leather here. A couple more shots. Hermanson covering. Just trying to re-establish guard. Jack Hammer-like punches from Ion Pascu. Yeah, looking for the leg here. He's, has he got the leg reek? Well, he secured the leg, going for the heel hook now. What a recovery from Jack Hermanson. This is at least going to allow him to keep the range and buy some time. Cranking that heel there. He's let it slip out, though. Yeah, just a bit too slippery. Pascu's going to try and drive that knee to the ground and pull his leg out. The cage is helping him stay up a little bit here, but deep heel hook from Jack Hermanson. You can see just getting his wits back about him now. Hermanson trying to crank that leg. Yeah, now going to go for the heel pull, I think. Oh, he's going for a toe hold, actually. We heard Ion Pascu just grunting with every huge shot he landed there. Oh, I, mean, unloaded. I wonder if he's emptied the gas tank a little bit too early, maybe. No, but I mean, it requires some technical thought to get out of this one. And you see he's got the leg knot as well. We saw Jamie Pritchard do this to Phil Rayburn last week, that right leg over the hip and then locking underneath the far leg of Ion Pascu. And it's going to be hard for Pascu to get up here. Hermanson can keep him here for a long period of time and keep trying to attack these leg locks. Going for that figure four toe hold there, Josh. Yeah, there's also, you can push the toes away and then literally pull on the heel to force a heel hook. Pascu trying to shake himself loose as Hermanson goes back. Straight ankle now, perhaps. Oh, he's let himself get square, though. This is going to allow Pascu to pull his legs out. It was uh, the angle that was keeping Hermanson there. Hermanson now putting his man on the fence and perhaps we need to see what the wrestling's like of Ion Pascu. Yeah, he can't afford any short shots on the inside. Hermanson wants to leave as little space as possible here. Plum Ooh, clinch now. Knee. Plum clinch from Jack Hermanson. Looking to fire some knees up the middle. Yeah, trying to make a frame. Oh, big knee from Hermanson there. Pascu answers back with a short uppercut. Yeah, Hermanson, he's got to get his hips a little bit closer or we're going to see more of those knees from Pascu. And throwing stuff here in the first round of this middleweight contest. Uh, Hermanson, I've got to say, it was a really good recovery because he was in danger of Mark Goddard stepping in to stop that fight and really nice work from Pascu to circle off. Oh, it's a, a right hand. Head kick there yeah. on the left-hand side for Ryan Pascu. Yeah, it was the left that did the damage that first time round. Hermanson is going to have to keep that right hand up, obviously. Pascu fighting southpaw at the moment, so that's another dimension you've got to deal with that you don't normally find. Some real heat on those punches from Ion Pascu. Hermanson looking to establish a jab there. 
got that straight jab through a couple of times. Look at establishes range, a big leg kick there. Maya Pascu switching things up, keeping Jack Hermanson guessing. Team got that leg kick again, pulled it back though at the last second. It's real power based kickboxing from Pascu. Fires a straight right, didn't land it. And knew that Hermanson was going to try and engage in that upper body clinch, just met it with the underhook, shakes him off with ease. Jab lands again from Hermanson now. Wilson Bahari in the corner of Jack Hermanson. Of course, he had a fantastic win in Copenhagen against Bruno Carvalho. Big night for the Scandinavian fighters. Nicholas Dalby crowned the welterweight champion that night. Made himself a bit of an overnight sensation with that huge head kick finish. Let's see if one of these two young men can replicate that success here in Amman Jordan. No title on the line here, but bragging rights. And a rung on the ladder in the Cage Warriors middleweight division. And that's the first run done, and Josh, plenty to talk about. Yeah, certainly, it's definitely going to go the way of Ion Pascu. Uh, you know, landed that huge left hand, which I'm sure we'll see in the replays in a moment. Really worried Jack Hermanson, and Hermanson forced to recover. Is that left hand straight through the gap? Oh, wow, right on the chin. Hermanson's Phenomenal shot there from Ion Pascu. Hermanson somehow managed to recover. Mark Goddard warned him several times. But here, once he got that leg knot and was able to secure the leg, really managed to slow the pace down. Had some very good attempts at these uh, leg locks, but just not able to. And here, where Pascu was able to square up with him, that allowed him to just pull his legs out. And then we found our way back to the feet, where both guys just really saw out the round. But by far the more significant actions, that early striking flurry from Ion Pascu. Every shot that Ion Pascu throws has bad, bad intentions. There's no tippy-tappy punching from this guy. Staring intently at Jack Hermanson again as we start this second of three five-minute rounds. Hermanson staying active. A lot of movement from the Joker. We saw that in his last fight. Good knees from Pascu. Hermanson again going for this tie clinch. And well shaken off. Slight height advantage for Jack Hermanson, six foot one to Pascu's five nine. But I think if he's getting that tie clinch, that might aid him a little bit. He's gonna have that slight bit of extra leverage. Working behind the jab now is Hermanson. Oh, and there's oh, another again. big, big shot. The left hand just straight through the open side of Hermanson's guard. But well, Hermanson Hermanson coming back well. down knees. Yeah, big knees, but managing. An to... elbow. Oh. Left hand from Hermanson. He's unloading here. <laughs> Jack Hermanson firing with all cylinders here. Left and right hands. Good elbow in the middle of that mix as well. Got to be careful not to chase after and be too predictable with the movement, though. Left and right hands landing at will here, and they are slugging it out, Josh! Oh, and... Well, that's the mouthpiece of Jack Hermanson out. Oh, it was Pascu, sorry. You saw Hermanson went after him, Pascu just covered up, took all of them, and then as soon as he unloaded, Jack Hermanson really had to think twice there. Either that or Pascu's wearing two mouthpieces now. High head kick there from Pascu. And the Romanian took a lot of shots in that exchange, Josh. Yeah, he really did. It was to his credit, took them on the chin and carried on swinging. But really nice for Jack Hermanson to find some confidence on the feet there. Safe to say the Swede back in this fight now. And it was good to see him throwing the knees from that tie clinch, but Pascu just brought his hips right in. And, you know, blocked a lot of them with the arms. They looked useful, but I'll be honest, not too many of them actually found the targets through. Punch to the body that time from Hermanson. Oh, big leg kick. And there is so much power generated by everything Ion Pascu does. Yeah, no half measures. Leg all the way through to the inside of the thigh. Two punch the... combination there. 
straight right hand followed by the left hook. But what we can see is Pascu's hands are coming down between each exchange now. We'll throw a strike, we'll back off, the hands will come down, then he'll bring them back up. So maybe some fatigue setting into the Romanian. Nice body kick there from Ion Pascu. Josh, we talked about that after that initial opening salvo. Did he put his foot down a little bit too soon? You know, both guys have had big flurries in this fight so far. Hermanson shoots from a long way off. Shrugged off easily by Pascu, changes the angle on him. And with this knee cut through pass now, I think he's going to get side control pretty quickly. There we go. Josh, I think those rumours that you heard about Ion Pascu's wrestling have just been proved to be true. Certainly very competent in that department is the Romanian. Yeah, and he's looking for a crucifix position here. Hermanson's got to get that frame back inside. Both arms isolated on the outside, away from his body now. One between the legs and one around the head. Looking to re-establish guard here. He's found half guard again, getting that knee back on the inside. But you see that right underhook from pa Pascu is so tight. It's going to keep Hermanson pinned. Not seen a whole lot from Jack Hermanson on the bottom position. Ion Pascu putting him to the test in that area I mean, he beat, here tonight. He beat Solvers Torres in Copenhagen with a really strong... In fact, this exact position just reversed, so Hermanson was on top. And with his kind of range, he was able to land some very strong elbows. But he's got to see the other end of it right now. Hermanson seemingly content to, to hang on here and, and stop Ion Pascu. Creating the, the leverage to throw the big, heavy punches and elbows he's known for. It's going to be a really interesting round for the judges to score this one. Rather them than us, as we've said many a time, Josh, and I'm sure we'll say many times again. Ion Pascu perhaps just about creating enough space to do something here. Ten seconds to go, he's not going to have the time as he's pinned that arm down. Hermanson has such length in his limbs that if he gets the knee in, stop, stop. Oh, again, looks for the knee ring for the dying seconds, but both guys having their moments in that five minutes. We're going to take a look at some replay very shortly. Let us know who you think is winning this fight on social media at Cage Warriors as we see that huge left hand from Ion Pascu. Really rocking Jack the Joker Hermanson with these big shots. But Hermanson came back, established that plum flinch, got a few of those knees through to the chin. Nice elbow there on the way out as well. Yeah, this was a good flurry from Hermanson, but Pascu covered well and then started firing back of his own. Good takedown defense him, underhooks meeting him, and then just shrugging off the change of angle. Well, Josh, I said before this fight that it would be bananas, and I believe this lived up to that billing. Yeah, a lot of people very excited about this fight because these guys square up so well in every single area of combat. Incredibly well-matched bout, and when you've got guys with such power, such aggression, inevitably good times will be had, and we're certainly having them here at Cage Warriors. Fight Night 11, we hope you are too. Our viewers watching worldwide, on television. Shout out to our viewers in the US watching via MMA Junkie. Our viewers in Ireland watching via IrishMMA.com. Of course, our viewers in the UK watching via Premier Sports. We hope you're enjoying tonight's action. Brad Wharton and Josh Palmer here calling it for you. As Ian Pascu and Jack Hermanson look to put a stamp on this contest. A nice uppercut got through there from Hermanson. Pascu staying busy though, swing in that big left mid again. Good nice two punch combination from Hermanson. Yeah, good shots on the break there from Hermanson. He's getting some confidence on the feet now. Better head movement as well. Good stuff here on the feet from the Swede. Ion Pascu still very much in the fight but perhaps not looking as sharp as he was earlier on, Josh. No, I mean, both guys have been throwing, you know, a huge volume for the most part. They both had very significant flurries, which really does drain your energy systems. 
And as we start to go deep into this round, I'm sure we'll see that play out. Of course, there have been flurries of wrestling as well, so they're constantly switching between this type of cardio when they're engaged in the stand-up and then different when they're clinching and squeezing on the ground. It really is draining. Yeah, we've seen many middleweights, six foot one, six foot two, six foot three and above. Ion Pascu packing all that weight onto a 5'9 frame, very heavily muscled, and of course, your body needs to pump a lot of oxygen in around those muscles in the blood. And it becomes a big ask as fights wear on. You still get the sense, though, that if one big shot could end it from Ion Pascu. Yeah, you just feel like every time he throws a punch, it has a bit more intensity and aggression on it. Hermans has done well in volume, though. Hermanson landing with regularity now. It's seeming like for every one Ion Pascu lands, Hermanson's landing two or three. Nice, straight, right from the Joker. See if he can mix some kicks into it, perhaps. He's seen the kind of head movement that Pascu's going to employ in those exchanges. That right shin straight up the open side of Pascu might not go and miss on the end of some of these punch combinations. That left hand of Pascu is dropping awfully low. The head kick is just wide open right now. Manson opted for the jab instead. Looking to find his range and perhaps unleash another punch combination. It'll be a very, very interesting contest for our judges to score. And Manson, I'd say, getting the better of the exchanges in this third round, landing oh, a big well combination on the there. Uppercut lands for Manson. Pascu fires back with a left hand. Robinson's having a lot of success when he starts bearing up in the combinations, throwing in those uppercuts and short hooks. Another couple of rights from Mamanson, an uppercut, a left hook. And Pascu is wearing some damage now. Robinson's starting to march him around the ring a bit here. He's bloodied the nose of Ion Pascu. Pascu's on the back foot here, Josh. I like the Hermanson worked in, that short elbow as well. Big punches here from the Swede. Let's see if uh, Hermanson, oh, tries the head kick. See if Hermanson can turn it up. I don't think he wants to let Pascu stall it out here. Let's keep the pressure on. There's only a minute left. And we saw Hermanson dropping punches, dropping elbows in his last outing to get a finish late in the fight. Can he do the same thing here, Josh? Yeah, if he can work his way to that half guard, he certainly can. Just over 30 seconds to go in the third and final round. Here at Cage Warriors, fight on 11. 12 pro fights under his record. Pascu's not going to be easily stopped from inside the guard here. Although that, that elbow is finding its way over the top. Not enough leverage to put a massive amount of power on it, but landing nonetheless, creating a bit more space now. Final 10 seconds, and Jack Hermanson dropping big elbows. He's got Pascu's mouthpiece out. Looking to get past the legs and land a few more big shots to finish. Stop. And there's the wow. end of the fight. This strong, is going to be very interesting. Strong finish from Jack Hermanson there. Was not happy to cruise up and out the ground as soon as he got that top position. Started throwing elbows, started throwing punches. And as you say, Josh, a bit of a tough one for our judges. It's going to come down to that second round. I mean, Pascu took the first, no doubt. Third one definitely went to Jack Hermanson. It's all going to be about that second round, which was so back and forth. Huge flurry from Hermanson in the middle of it, but obviously he got sat down by that left hand initially. Let's refresh our memories, some of the action in that third frame. And it's combination punching from Jack Hermanson. Yeah, and he really started to march Pascu around the ring here. That, of course, gave him some confidence. I think perhaps accepting the guard position here was probably not the smartest move. I'd like to see him have really postured over his opponent and flurried from there. But look at the activity now from Jack Hermanson. Elbows, punches, and the mouthpiece comes out from Ryan Pascu. Couldn't quite get past the legs to throw that final flurry. Fantastic action. Let us know on social media. Who do you give that bow to? At Cage Warriors on Twitter, use the hashtag CWFC Jordan. And we're going to throw this one to Joe Martinez for the official result. 
Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the scorecards, and all three judges have it. 29-28, your winner by unanimous decision. Jack the Joker Hermanson! 29-28 across the board for Jack the Joker Hermanson. Inevitably, that flurry in the second round, starting with the, the knees from the tie clinch, was enough to really give him that second round. Well, Josh, he said it. That would be the one that would decide the fight. Our judges saw it for the Joker, Jack Hermanson, who continues a successful Cage Warriors return.